Hi, my name is Ronaldo and I'm here to present my work, which I developed alongside Anderson and Luis, called Drafting in Collectible Card Games via Reinforcement Learning. So, let's begin by talking about Collectible Card Games, or CCGs, which are two-player strategy games played with a custom set of cards. And what we refer to as play actually involves two related tasks. The first is building a deck from the set of available cards, and the second is using that deck to battle other players. And with the usually large and integrate set of rules, learning to play CCG ends up being a difficult task, both for human players and artificial intelligences. And partially due to this difficulty, the recent advances in game playing AI have not yet reached CCGs. With that said, in our paper, we investigate whether deep reinforcement learning approaches can yield competitive deck building AI, considering the current literature, specifically in the arena mode of collectible card games. In arena mode, decks are built in a process called drafting, in which for end turns, the players pick one of k random cards presented by the game and adds it to their deck. On the right, there's the deck building process in the arena mode of Hearthstone, where k is equal to 3 and n is equal to 30. To the best of our knowledge, there's only one published work so far on the topic. And we use deep reinforcement learning, which is a framework to tackle sequential decision pro problems, such as drafting in arena, by refining a decision-making strategy, we call it a policy, uh, via trial and error, using, in this case, a deep neural network to represent the policy. So, Deep Reinforcement Learning, or DRL, describes an interaction loop where the decision-making agent uh, makes actions in the environment, which returns a new state uh, of the environment, and also a reward signal that serves a, as feedback on, on, on the agent's actions so far. And our proposed approach follows this scheme. Uh, at each draft turn, we extract features from the cards in the game and feed them as input to the deep neural network that is, turned, that is trained with DRL, uh, which outputs a policy from which we act in the game, choosing a card. And we propose three different approaches. The first one is called history, because it uses a history-aware state representation. That is, we pass as input to the network not only the K cards to choose from on the, the present turn, but all cards chosen in the previous turns as well so that it can consider those in its reasoning. The second one is called immediate, and it uses a history of believable state representation, which only contains the K cards to choose from and no history. And the third, LSTM, is somewhere in between the two. It uses the history of believable state representation as well, but has a layer of long short-term memory units, so it's also called LSTM units, uh, which are capable of remembering the past turn, and therefore uh, it considers the cards chosen in the previous turns. Our agents are rewarded proportionally to the win rate of the decks they build when used by a battle AI. We instantiate our methodology in Legends of Cold and Magic, or Lockham, that is a CCG designed specifically for AI research that also features arena-like deck building. K and N are also 3 and 30, and re-implement re the game engine as OpenAI gene environments. From Lockham cards, we extract all features that are relevant to the card's quality and convert them to a numeric vector. And then we train our networks using the Proximal Policy Optimization Algorithm, PPO, and repeat all training using two different battling AIs, Max Attack and Greedy. Our training sessions consist of 30,000 episodes having 12 equally spaced checkpoints in which we save the network and evaluate using 1,000 episodes. In our first experiment, we compare our approaches among themselves. To do that, we performed 10 training sections with each approach using the best hyperparameter we found to compile average learning curves, which are shown in these graphs. We observed that with both battle agents, the simplest approach immediate had better results in terms of win rate throughout training, followed by LSTM and by history. We also compared our approaches to others in the literature. More specifically, we selected two baseline agents 
as well as three that we consider being the state of the art in arena drafting. The results were that while well, playing first and second have significant differences and that our, our approaches outperform all others with both battlers. In our last experiment, we re-executed the strategy card game AI competition held at the COG conference in 2019, replacing the draft portion of one of the baselines, Max Attack, with our best draft agent. The result was that Max Attack was originally in a 10th place and it ends up in the 4th place, solidly by building better decks, even with its very simple battling strategy. Summing up, our trained draft agents outperform all selected agents in the settings we experimented, and we expect that more training episodes would be needed for LSTM and history to achieve better performance than immediate. Another aspect is that our agents are fast and do not require powerful hardware or even a labeled data set to train. We conclude this work in which we present a game agnostic deep reinforcement learning methodology to build decks in the arena mode of collectible card games and we interpret our results uh, as positive evidence that deep reinforcement learning can achieve competitive performance in the task. Lastly, we consider this work a step towards superhuman gameplay in AIs for CGs. The source code for the game engine, the G environments, the experiments and the final draft agents are available at GitHub under this URL. And thank you very much, I hope you liked it and please refer to the paper for more details.